Sometimes being able to track and be accountable for your progress can give you the nudge you need. And if that doesn't work, getting reminders to get up and take a few steps can also prove pretty motivating. I'm Erin for TechGadgetsCanada.com, and for many years, Fitbit has been at the forefront of fitness and activity trackers, and they keep right on innovating and redesigning their wristbands. The newest is the sleek, simple, and infinitely wearable Fitbit Inspire. I'm going to show you what it can do and what it can't do, but first up, if you like this video and end up finding it helpful, please hit that like button and consider giving us a sub. You can also follow us at Facebook.com slash TechGadgetsCanada. So what is Fitbit Inspire? It's Fitbit's newest budget activity and sleep tracker that you wear on your wrist. At $99 Canadian, it's the least expensive Fitbit you can get now, and it puts it in reach for many consumers. The tracker comes with a basic silicone band and simplified monochromatic touchscreen display. If you want, you can upgrade to the Inspire HR, which adds heart rate tracking, and that costs about $129. You can also customize the different bands to add just the colors or styles you want. You can match either your workout or your wardrobe, depending on what you want and how you want your Fitbit to look. Now, inside the box, your Fitbit Inspire will include the tracker, which is this part here, the small device. It'll come with a small and a large wristband, and that's just the basic silicone wristband here, uh, small and large, so you can customize the size for you. Also inside the box, you're going to find the USB charging cable. Now to get things set up, it's a pretty simple process, but before you do it, you'll want to make sure your Fitbit app is up to date or go ahead and download it for the first time from the Apple Store or Google Play. If you already have a Fitbit tracker installed on your account, worth noting that that could complicate your setup. The last couple of times I've added a new tracker, the app won't see the new device. So you can try rebooting the app or resetting the tracker by pushing and holding the side button and then try again. You may also need to remove any existing devices from your account and restart the app before you can set up the new one. To begin your setup, plug your tracker in. Then go to your account and choose Settings, choose Setup Device, and then select Inspire. The app will search for your device, so you'll want to keep it close by. You may also need to install a firmware update. It took me quite a while to get my device set up and to install that update when I did it, so just be prepared. When everything's all ready, the app will tell you and you'll see the current time displayed on your Fitbit. Strap it on and get moving. You can turn on the move reminders that'll nudge you if you've been sitting too long, which is pretty handy. You can also set silent alarms that'll buzz you at certain times as well. There's really a lot of ways to get yourself moving. Since Inspire is what you could call an entry-level Fitbit, it doesn't have all the bells and whistles of some other Fitbit devices, and that may be just fine for some of you. You can use either the touch screen to swipe through screens on the device itself, or you can use the app to see your progress at any time. The Fitbit Inspire will track your activity, sleep, and help you set and meet goals and give you extra motivation. This Fitbit will not track your floors climbed, your sleep stages like REM or deep or light sleep, but it will track your hours of sleep. It won't track swimming, but you can wear it in the water. It also won't give you your heart rate. The Inspire will give you call, text, and calendar alerts right to your wrist, but you can't reply to them or respond. You'll need to go to your phone for that. It also doesn't support Fitbit Pay. Now to get alerts, you'll need to make sure your Bluetooth is on on your phone and you'll need to turn on something called All Day Sync in settings. When I was testing it out, I got call alerts just fine, though they wouldn't display automatically. I'd get a short buzz and then I'd need to touch the screen to see what it said. I also wasn't able to receive texts after numerous attempts. I tried shutting the device off and toggling the settings in the app, but no go during my testing period. One last tip, you can actually calibrate your Fitbit to count your exact steps, not a universal average as many other fitness trackers do. To calibrate your steps and adjust your stride length, go into settings, look for advanced settings, and then choose stride length. You can choose to have it configured for you automatically or to input your specific stride length. I found doing this makes Fitbit wildly accurate. You can also change the clock face in setting as well, choosing simple displays and fonts, or the option of showing a little more data on the face. The Fitbit app is your command center for all your stats. You can check your steps, sleep, and exercise at a glance. You can also sync it to a Fitbit scale like the Aria 2, and you can check out my review of that device here as well, and have it automatically track your weight. The Fitbit app also launched female health tracking not too long ago. It can track your periods and fertile days, as well as other things like your mood or any other symptoms. Once you start adding your cycle, the app can give you an idea of when your period will fall in the future. In the app, you can also add goals like how much sleep you want to get, and you can choose if you want your Fitbit to remind you that it's getting close to bedtime.
A fully charged Fitbit Inspire has a battery life of about five days. The battery is definitely long lasting and doesn't need as much attention as something like a smartwatch, which is nice. It charges by clipping into that small USB cradle I showed you earlier and just plugging it into a USB port either on your computer or using an AC plug or an AC adapter. Charging it fully takes about one to two hours. And while the tracker charges, you can press a button to check the battery level. A fully charged tracker will show a solid battery icon with a smile. While the screen on the Inspire is small, it's easy enough to read. Plus, you can change the font size somewhat and add different faces to make it easier if you need it. Swiping through the screens, you can see your steps, calories, active minutes, and total kilometers. So who is the Fitbit Inspire for? Inspire's price tag makes it an entry-level tracker, plus it doesn't boast the color display of some of the more expensive models. Now, this version is definitely for those looking for something unobtrusive and not obvious to wear so they can keep tabs on their fitness, but someone who's also budget conscious as well. So how accurate is Fitbit Inspire? You can easily test it by counting your steps in your head and then comparing that against the readout in the app. If it's off at all, just adjust your stride length inside the Fitbit app until it's perfect. As for sleep, I found it to be also very accurate, calculating my sleep stages to match when I might have woken up in the night. Overall, I've tried numerous Fitbits, and especially when calibrated, they're the most accurate fitness and activity tracker or smartwatch I've ever used. Overall, the Fitbit Inspire gives you most of the smart features you want and all of the fitness and activity tracking that you're going to need. I've recommended Fitbits for a long time because they're easy to set up, easy to use, they work well, they have a long battery life, and they're accurate as all get out, so I can definitely recommend this one too. If there's any downsides, it's just what this one is missing because it's the smaller, cheaper option. Things like Fitbit Pay, so you can leave your wallet at home, plus the heart rate tracking. The screen is also pretty small, but again, these are things you can get as you step up the Fitbit device ladder. This one is all about your budget, and that's okay. It sells for about 99 bucks Canadian from places like Best Buy or Amazon. If you want to read more about the Fitbit Inspire, head over to techgadgetscanada.com. I've posted a full blog there, and you can ask any questions you have either there on the blog or, of course, here on the YouTube channel. If you liked this video and found it helpful, please hit that like button and consider subscribing. Since it does help us keep making more videos, we hope everyone out there can watch, enjoy, and learn from. I'm Erin. Thanks for watching. You can find me on Twitter or Instagram at ErinLYYC. You can also catch me on Facebook at facebook.com slash techgadgetscanada.